hi guys welcome back to another video as you know i am patria and today i'll be doing a skit with a counselor and a client this will be part two it's a follow-up from the one that i did previously hope you enjoyed the video guys and thanks for those who are watching and has been chatting the journey i really appreciate you remember to give it a thumbs up leave a comment share thank you Imagine, all of my life I go to stress and I put myself in a problem. And if one little time me decide to go see one counselor, I can't tell my relative them and make good friends. The woman claims that me and her best friend, you know. All them turn on me. And start look down on me. And I cuss me and I call me mad. They're not supposed to do that to me, man, and support me. But me just keep up the foolishness. They always there laugh and cheer me on. Nobody decides to make a change in my life. Them walk out and stress me out. I feel like I just fight them. But the counselor said I must try to change. You know what? What? I think I'll go back and see the counselor there, you know. Although, today is right day. Because yesterday I go see her and she said to an appointment for next week. But I still go go. Because I need somebody to talk to. I need somebody to steer me in the right direction. So I don't get myself in a more trouble again. It's hard. So, I approach the counselor's office. I hope she's willing to see me. I hope she's there. Alright, for me. This is Cockpit. How can I help you today? I did not expect to see you so soon. Our next appointment is not until next week, Tuesday. I just saw you yesterday. Counselor? I know I said I don't have time to see you yet. But I got through enough stress. From you tell me, say, I have um, antisocial disorder. And I go and go tell my relatives them. I be a problem. They start calling me mad. All my friends say, me and I are close. How much years now? Start drawing from me. And I look down upon me. I don't know if we can, if we can go on counselor, I don't know deal with this. Because all these years, I do fear around. No more to do something right in my life for once. I want to make a change in my life. And before the people that were close to me support me, then did they have pulled me down. My mad counselor, what is antisocial disorder? Tell me more about it, please. No, Mrs. Fabric, you're not mad. You did the right thing by paying me a visit. I can help you. You are suffering from a mental disorder that is known as antisocial disorder. Anyone can experience that. Alright? Antisocial disorder is a mental condition. People with this mental condition consistently disregard the rights of others. They don't um, know right from wrong. They normally antagonize others and try to manipulate them. They also ignore what people have to say. It is also known as an antisocial personality disorder, sometimes called sociopathy. The role of a counselor, though, is to help you to get through your problems and to also show you empathy. I should not look down on you, but to help to put you, you know, in the right frame of mind. I should be able to go in your shoes. That's what empathy is. I understand how you are feeling, Mrs. Cockpit. The people you look up to the most are the ones that are turning their backs on you in this time. It is hard, but try not to feel bad about what other people think or say about you. You don't have any control over someone else's behavior. Just work on you, work on yourself, and try to overcome these issues. Mrs. Cockpit, just try to remain calm when your friends and family are being with you. Avoid acting out in anger or frustration. You cannot control what people do or say about you. But you can control your reaction. 
try to avoid the people that are making you feel uncomfortable by disengaging from any interaction with those people. Meanwhile, write down the incidents and include important details like the date, time, place, and what they say to you or do. Doing so will help you identify any patterns in their behavior. This information will be useful down the road in avoiding further altercations. Sometimes family members feel they need to fix the situation, like in your case. They might feel embarrassed for others to find out you are being treated for an illness, a mental disorder to be specific, and doing so by suppressing it. So being mean is one example. They might want to stop you from seeing the counselor, thinking that it is better no one knows about your problem. What I am trying to say is, they might not want you to hurt or want you to be hurt. They might just be thinking about protecting the family's reputation and doing so by trying to frustrate you. I hope this makes you feel better, Mrs. Cockpit. Yes, counselor. Your advice really helped me. I feel much better. So, we see you next week, Tuesday. And you see, I go start the we yeah, call you again. We get me free arm, start talking about my childhood. You yeah, hypnotize. You say I'm going to do that. I guess I must do journaling. So, I'm going to start writing down everything. Anything you tell me if you help me, I'm going to do it. Because I just want to feel better. So, thank you very much. Take care now, Mrs. Puppet. I will see you on the next visit. Alright, remember to practice all that I told you to do today.